Hello everyone, my name is Abbas and for tbreak.com we are going to be looking at the HTC HD2 phone today, the follow-up to the quite popular HTC HD. Uh, let me just go ahead and press the power button, it takes a few seconds to power up and while it's doing that let me show you the device. It's a quite sleek device, you've got volume buttons over here, uh, some hardware keys over here, you've got your USB and your 3.5mm jack on this side. Uh, nothing on top and nothing on this side. On the back you can see there's a 5 megapixel camera with dual LED flash. What I don't like is the camera sort of protrudes from the design and if you have them in your jeans pocket it's quite a slim quite a thin design but uh, unfortunately it you know just kind of creates a bit of a fiction. Right so this is the battery cover let me just go ahead and uh, open it up for you and you have your battery your sim card slot and your micro SD slot which unfortunately is not accessible when this cover is uh, closed it would have been nice if you could have accessed that with the cover closed um, while the device is on wait a sec let me just click on the home button now okay so as far as the size is concerned slightly bigger than your blackberry storm 2 uh, but definitely thinner as you can see even compared to the iphone which itself is quite a thin phone this is thinner uh, but slightly bigger right so let's get here you have the weather on the side but uh, let's this is your home screen HTC has done a great job with their sense UI it looks beautiful you've got your time your weather you can configure these three um, slots for uh, anything you can configure them for a speed dial or for application and you've got your calendar over here as well um, you've got your standard Windows mobile bar on top now you can just slide your finger across Oops, sorry uh, let me mention that this is a capacitive screen, first of all. This is not your resistive screen like most Windows Mobile, so well, there you see the sun kind of shining up. It's got very nice effects. Right, so let's slide our finger across and you can see uh, the different options you can access from the home page. You've got Twitter, you've got weather, music, photos, talks, internet, mail, messages. Very zippy device. Let's just go to people where you can configure nine uh, quick shortcuts or just click on all people. Uh, this shows you the list of all you people again. Let's just scroll through it as you can see quite zippy quite nice It's got that inertia effect as well uh, One of the few Windows mobile devices that uh, feels quite nice to use with your finger you can define your favorites uh, But that's standard stuff. Let's go back over here um, Well, yeah, I mean the keyboard is nice. Let's just go ahead on messaging over here uh, and let me type in a new message um, Hello, how are you today? Okay, so I don't have the autocorrection on, which is probably why uh, we have a little bit of a spelling error. But uh, if I am a little bit careful, how are you today? Well, okay, it actually does autocorrect things. I, I don't think on an SMS it does, but when you're in an email, it uh, does that let us see if we can do that uh, bum, 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 bum. let's go to email well, you know you can kind of go through your emails it's got a nice little flicking interface uh, right so let's just go ahead and click on a new message and here let's see if auto correction is turned on hello no it isn't if I click on XT9 yeah, there we go. How are you today? So there we go. I mean, with the autocorrection on, like the iPhone, it does a pretty good job of recognizing what you're planning on writing. Um, no, I don't want to save that. So yeah, that is pretty much it as far as your Sense UI is concerned. You can click on the Windows button, which brings up the Windows menu. It's got the Beehive kind of interface.